Hey friends, we are setting up our Simply Safe system here. So step by step, we're going to show you how to do this. And we're going off the instructions here. So uh, step one is install your base. Okay. Base station is the brain and the primary siren of your system. Uh, it communicates with all your devices and mon alarm monitoring service. Place your base station in a central location in your house. Don't install it on the floor. Plug the base station into a power cord outlet using the include power cord. This cord right here. Uh, make sure it's not controlled by a light switch and basically this indicates the status of the system. Okay, so that's what we're going to do first. And we're going to go show you how we do that and where we're going to hook it up. Okay, friends, so Alexa is going to get a new friend here, and this is the uh, Simply Safe. We're just going to plug it in right here. And you can screw it in if you want to. Not really necessary. I don't think I'm going to screw it in at all. Okay, it's got a plug in right down here. And that fits snugly up in there like that. Okay, makes a nice little noise. And remove. Welcome to Simply Safe. Okay. Remove the tag to activate the batteries. I'm going to put a, these are rechargeable batteries that are charged by the base or by the plug in here so it runs for 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and tie up my uh, cord nice and neat so it's tucked out of the way. And uh, we'll continue on my friends. Okay friends, so next we are installing the keypad. Now with this, I want to make it uh, as level as possible. So I have this nice uh, chair rail molding. I'm not sure if I'm going to set it up on that or not. Um, probably go get a level and hold it next to this real quick. Uh, what you want to do is uh, peel off these four stickers double or single sided sticky tape. Make sure that where you want to put it is where you want to put it. Get my level out here first. Make sure that that's level and I'll put it next to that. Hold that on there for 30 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Okay, it's almost 30 seconds. I'm going to give it about 10 more. I want this thing to be nice and secure on there so it doesn't slip in and out or fall off the wall. You can also screw it into the wall too if you want to. And that's simply done by a... Okay, that should be good. But this can slide up. And if you want to screw it in, you got screws right there. You can just screw those into the wall. And this simply goes back on there like that. Okay, so that is that section of attaching it to the wall. Okay, and then install your keypads. We're going to um, remove this little item here. And Adhere the keypad to your wall by your main entrance. You can take the keypad with you to name your device as you install them. After you adhere the keypad to the wall, just slide it up and off the bracket. Alright, so is there a thing to activate the batteries here? I think so. Uh, batteries. Ok. 
Okay, all right, so to activate your batteries, we got some Duracells in here. We're gonna pull this off. Slide that back into place. Okay, searching for base station. Connecting to base station. And press menu to continue setup. So we're gonna press, we're gonna get you a little bit closer view here, then we're gonna go press menu. Okay, so we're gonna place a menu. Choose a master pen. This is the code you'll use to disarm your system and to change your settings. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back here. Okay, so you put in the code and then you press on the side. These are buttons. Okay, so install your devices. Follow the mounting instructions in the guidebook or the mobile app. So we go, okay. Press button on a device to test and name. All right, so we're going to go start setting up our devices now. We'll take this with us, and that way we can uh, set it up a little bit easier. So simply take this, slide this up, and move from the wall. All right, friends, so we're setting up another uh, entry sensor. Take it out of the bag there. Okay, go ahead and remove the battery tag. You can move that. Make sure the sensors work too first. Okay. Flash twice and once when it opens. All right, so what you want to do is go to system settings. That's just in the menu. Hit the menu. You're gonna have to. It's gonna ask for your PIN. Um, so we're gonna go down to setup and naming for this and hit to the right there. Okay, so now we're going to press the button on the device and name. Okay, so entry sensor found, change the name, and this is going to be the garage. So that and hit set. Okay, and the Magnet goes on the side, the non-moving part, and the sensory item goes on the part that moves. So you want to peel off your uh, sticky side for both, and let's go set this up on the door, shall we? All right, so leave. Well, let's see if we can put this I think I can put it right here on the side. That's going to be within two inches. So put that there. And put that right there. I think it's good enough. Okay, let's see. So that is that. We'll go ahead and hold this on there for a little longer. So you can see that it doesn't have to be like perfectly aligned. There could be a little gap there. And it did. I guess you could take a little thing and cut out a little bit of the molding and set that in there. I might do that later on, but not really necessary. It's not really obtrusive. It's a nice white color. So. All right, so that's how you install the sensor, my friends. All right, here we go with another entry sensor for the Simply Safe system. It's a joke. 
All right, that wasn't the best way to get it out of there, but uh, here we go. All right, so we have a little um, battery tag. Focus, focus. It's not gonna focus, is it? There we go. Please remove batteries. Remove to activate batteries. So we're gonna do that. Remove the tab. Okay. The little system recognized it. Should the blue light should flash twice when it comes together, once when it goes away. Perfect. I'm gonna remove the sticky tape so we reveal the sticky side here. All right. And now it says press button on device to set, to test, and name. So we're going to press the little device button here. OK. Detected. Now choose a name. And we're going to go with front door. That's easy. And hit set. That was simple. Let's go put this on the door, shall we? So, try to put it to where these little the oval parts are together, little circles are ovals. And I want to put it, I have a double door, so I want to put it where, where either door is open. It's going to activate, so. Seconds. Good. Okay. There we go. There's that. Oh, we are almost done. Let's move on to the final door. Okay, friends. So uh, this one is an entry sensor. Does tip test the alignment for adhering each piece. The blue light should flash once when it opens and twice when it closes. Okay, so that's it in the bag here. Go ahead and put this up. Take those out. All right, we're going to remove this. Remove for batteries. Ah. All right, now these looks like okay. So the battery won't open. There we go. Uh, flashes twice for closing, once for opening. Okay. So looks like you want the bigger part on the stationary part of the door and the smaller part on the other one. So I'm going to put this on the door jam, the smaller part, I guess. Well, let me read because it doesn't say specifically. Let me see if I can find out real quick. Okay, my friends, I was mistaken, but I clarified. So you want the sensor on the door. It says it here, sensor on the door and the magnet on the frame. So this is going to go on the door. And the magnet is a smaller one that's going to go on the frame. So here we go. Let's go set that up, shall we? Just going to remove the sticky tape. I believe you want the button facing up, if possible. But I guess alarm it, off. Alarm is off. Not sure if that has to be up or down. Obviously, it can't be up in all scenarios, so it says there's no right side up. Okay, so according to the instructions, either way. So we're going to put this, make sure 
that your little um, ovals cut in there are together. I guess you don't want them backwards like that. So let's go ahead and install this right here. And install this one right there. Okay, so we hold those for about 30 seconds. So I have an old alarm here, and I thought maybe we'll just leave those on there. It's not how it doesn't have monitoring service, but it'll make a loud siren too. So two alarms is better than one, I, I guess. So that'll be in addition to the Simply Safe one here. So, okay, let's test it. Okay. So that is the motion detector. Now, it says that is off. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna to try to set it up, but mine is saying off. I'm gonna check it out. One of one active monitor. You are unmonitored, activated, some place. Okay, so off. Um, enter pin, okay. Alarm off. I don't want it off. I want it home. Simply save on. Okay. Home. Now we're going to go name this one, I believe. So we're going to push the button. It's asking for my pin. Alarm off. What is this? I want to name this. Okay, so I'm going to push that. Okay, so set up and naming. So I'm going to set up and naming in the instructions. So we're going to scroll down to that and then hit, uh, I believe, to the right. Okay, install your devices, follow your mounting instructions, and in the guide app. Okay, so now I'm going to push the button again. Entry sensor okay. detected. Now choose a name. So found an entry sensor, and we're gonna choose a name. And this is back door, so this is gonna be a kitchen. Okay, so we put there and hit the on the right here, and it's set. Entry sensor, name. Okay, so now we're gonna open the door. Kitchen, but that's okay. Mm -mm. I think. Okay, and now let's go to another device. Okay, last but not least, we have the key fob. Maybe. If we get out of there. I should have thought this through with only one hand. It's difficult. Okay, so there's that. I wonder if we hit home. Simply save on. Home. Okay, in a way. Please exit now. Okay, it gives us a countdown there. And if we say home. Simply save on. Home. Okay, so the fob works automatically there. And you can keep that in your pocket or hang it up somewhere where you're not going to forget it. All right, I think um, we can maybe do a show final install here. Go to simplysafe.com, maybe do a little walkthrough on that. All right, my friends, so we will be setting up the uh, motion sensor. And first thing you wanna do, go ahead and activate your thing here. It says press a button on device to test and name. So we're gonna press the button on the top here. Okay, maybe I'll press it longer than that. Or is there batteries that I need to remove first? 
Maybe there's a battery. Don't see. Let's see here. Way this slides on or off here. It looks like there would be a way for this to slide off, possibly. There we go. Okay. So, I guess that's what you want to do. This slides down from the button. Okay. It's not going to work if you don't remove it. Oh, goodness. That popped right out of there. Okay. So, that's going back in there. It has a sensitivity switch here. High and low. It looks like it's right in the immediate middle. I'm going to go put it on high sensitivity. Okay. We don't have pets or anything, so let's do that. Okay. And lock that in place. Now, let's touch our base system again. Hello. All right, now we're going to press the button on top. It says, press the button on device to test and name. Okay. So the device is talking, and we're going to choose that as living room, and we're going to hit this, the side there. So motion sensor is named. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the sticky tape and go put this up in the corner. All right. So let's get a better angle here. All right, so I'm going to install this up on the corner there. So it's going to cover the living room door and everywhere else. Uh, let's go ahead and put this up there, shall we? So that is the uh, motion detector set up in the corner there. And I have that uh, covering the, the pretty much the entire living room that should be good with. Uh, put it up a little bit above the shades there. I didn't want the curtain to be blocking that if I set it down a little lower. So that's that. Let's continue on, my friends. Okay, so let's press the panic button here. And we're going to name it. Panic button. Detective. Now choose a name. I don't know why I have to choose a name for the panic button. Let's choose, uh, I guess. Panic. Panic button named. Okay. So Okay, so done installing. I think so. Um that's for the panic button, so we can test it out now if we want. So let's go home. Or finish install. So let's go next, I guess. Activate your system. 
Activate your monitoring subscription to simply save.com activate optional. Set up quickly. You can come back anytime through the setup and naming option and menu. So done. Alarm off. Warning. Entry sensor. Battery low. Okay, so we need to change the battery. Let's hit the panic button, see how loud it is. Oh. Alarm off. Warning. Entry sensor. Battery low. That was super loud. So if you got a low battery. Mm, one hour ago. Entry low battery room. Bedroom one entry battery is low. And panic master. Cancel by pin master. Okay. So bedroom one entry battery is low. I should name that to a different one. Bedroom one, bedroom two is kind of complicated if you're not. So maybe the name of the kids or something. All right, anyways. Um, that's about it for that. I think we have like a fob or something. We'll check that out. Okay, so next we are installing the panic button. Now this is like an extra place where you might want extra security or some or install it like that. So this is adhere to the panic button to a wall in your master bedroom or anywhere you want a bit of extra security. Okay. You move the battery thing. This doesn't have a little test switch on it. You have the panic button. So we're going to remove the backing for the tape and you want to mount this. I believe you want to mount it like that with this side up. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount this. All right, so we kind of just decided to mount it um, next to the bed here. And next to the phone, so just right about here. And if you don't like where you're mounting it, these can be removed. So don't panic that you installed your panic button in the incorrect place. So this is in our master bedroom here. There we go. And um, that is that. Leave. You can hold it down for two seconds, and it will uh, do something. So let's actually take this off of here, and we're going to go. Oh, there's a battery. We'll take it off and let's go uh, push it by the uh, sensor and see what happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the panic button and see what happens. Panic button detected. Now choose a name. Panic button found. Okay, so that is master bedroom. It's already set. So choose a name for the panic button. Mm. It is the master bedroom too, right? Name panic. So I'm just gonna set master, I guess. Yeah. What would you like? Okay, so And last but not least, we're going to assemble the yard sign. Just like that. Okay. Looks like this peels off here. think maybe it feels like this is double-sided sticky tape but maybe it's not maybe it's okay it is it's hard to get that started there okay 
So the sign goes in there, like that, sticks onto there, like that. All right, my friends. So if you got some tough ground, probably use a hammer. Maybe put a piece of two by four on there and pound it in the ground with that. Or use like a mallet or something that's not gonna hurt it. And then you can attach this um, on top of that. And there you go. Thanks for watching how to install Simply Safe Home Security System. Oh, I'm gonna show you how to change out a battery on a Simply Safe uh, system. So this is a door entry sensor. So just slide it towards where the button is. Okay, it's gonna come off like that. Make sure your system's off. Okay, and these take just the regular um, batteries like this, the three volt ones. Okay, and I just want to kind of pop this out if you can, just like that. This one's a goner, and we'll get a new one in here. Make if I can open this child-proof. <clears throat> My goodness. Okay, so just put your battery back in there. Should be able to put this side in first under the little tabs right here and then push down. It should lock into place like that. Okay, and then we'll slide it right back into place here. Alrighty, so that's going to go right back up into place just like that. And now we should be able to check it on the keypad and see how the status is here. So let's go to menu, I'm going to ask for a pin, put the pin in, we're going to go to devices, open up devices, mm, look for the garage, entry garage, and it's going to tell us how the battery is here. Should tell us how the battery is. Hmm. I guess it only tells you if the battery is low. So before it said uh, battery was low, I think we look at bedroom. One of them is going to have like a low battery, I believe. I'll show you guys that real quick. Oh, here we go. See that sign there? Go to that. Okay, so it only tells the battery status when it's low, so let's go change that one out too. 